name is Brady Dye and I'm a wedding photographer from Wellington, New Zealand. And today I'm quickly going to show you how you can collect photos that your guests take at your wedding. Um, now quite often these days it's uh, quite common to have um, a thing with your guests saying that you don't actually want any photos on Facebook until you've actually put them up yourself. Um, but still people might do them and quite often there'll still be weddings where people do want people to share them on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter um, and stuff. So the first thing I'd suggest doing is picking um, a fun hashtag for your wedding so that you can easily find the photos on all the different social networks. Um, I use this website here, the Wedding Wire hashtag generator, which I'll link to in the comments below. You enter a bunch of details about yourself and your partner and where the wedding is and stuff and then you click show me the hashtags and it flicks through and shows you a bunch of hashtags that haven't been used yet um, on the social network so you can make sure you get one. b and &E get hitched. The Adventures of b and &E. Hunter Dyer 2014. Once you've chosen your hashtag, the next thing you want to do is let your guests know about it. So you could do that on the invites or you could get things like this done mat done or an easel at the wedding or chalkboard or what else did they have yeah any sort of cool things like this that you could put around the wedding um, that say when you share the photos online make sure you use this hashtag you've done that um, you can either just search manually on social networks for the hashtag and find all the photos or if you're a little bit smarter and a little bit more tech geekish like me, you can use a free app called If This Then That, which is I-F-T-T-T. -T -T. Uh, it's a free app you can sign up for. If you use it for other things, I'd suggest starting a new account because it doesn't really work too well with multiple accounts. Um, sign up for a new account using an email address that you've set up for the wedding. And then you can set up fun rules like these. So IFTTT lets you send a bunch of rules. So this first one um, I'd suggest doing is um, downloading Facebook photos that you're tagged into Dropbox. So anytime anyone tags you in a photo, um, if TTT will find it and download it to a Dropbox folder. The other one which is good is if you're using the hashtag is you can say anybody that uses the hashtag, um, say for instance whatever it is, Hunter Dyer Wedding, um, then it will save it to your Dropbox. And you have to set this up for Instagram and you can set it up for Twitter and Facebook. So anybody that shares any photos anywhere, it will automatically save into a Dropbox account. And you can also say take any Instagram photos of our wedding and post them to a wedding Facebook page or your personal page or uh, anything. It's a great thing about if TTT is you can set up a bunch of rules that do all sorts of different things. Um, so you could have them emailed to yourself, you could have them posted to your personal Facebook page, you could have them saved to a Tumblr account or emailed to yourself. Um, it's literally unlimited what you can do with the photos um, when they're using the hashtag. Um, but of course, it is quite often common to ask your guests not to post any photos. Um, so this is kind of only really for those guests, those wedding couples that don't mind if people share photos online and um, want to be able to find all the photos. So that's a quick hot tip from me. Um, I would love to have made this video a little bit cooler with tripods and microphones and a bit more flash, but ultimately I just wanted to get a cool message across without wasting way too much time because I've got way too much to be doing at the moment than making cool wedding videos.